Students gathered for a very exciting experience at the Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden. Why is this helpful for students is because uh, I think a lot of students have the misconception that we know everything. And in science it's about asking questions and answering questions. And they are learning how to answer really important questions that we need uh, to go to the moon and Mars. And we don't know the answers. Our NASA scientists don't know the answers for a, for, for a short time until they tell us what they've learned, the data. They know the answers before us. And for the uh, students, for the student scientists, I hope that's exciting because it is for me. More than 5,000 students from 150 different schools participated in the Fairchild Challenge in collaboration with NASA, where they tested plans for long-term space travel. Oh, they're amazing, and it's just such an honor to have someone that actually works in this talk to you and tell you all about what they do and be part of this experience. It's just great. <laughs> It was amazing, great experience, just because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not only making this for myself, but I'm only helping the community. Students participated in the Growing Beyond Earth program, supporting plant research on space station and working towards feeding astronauts on future missions into deep space. Students had the chance to speak to astronauts in space and ask them questions. Hi, my name is Tyler, and I'm a ninth grade student at Biotech High School. My question is for Ricky Andrew. As a person here on Earth, I can only imagine how stunning and gorgeous space is, and how magnificent it can be. What is the most stunning or thrilling thing you have seen in space? And I will, uh, I'll comment uh, on the view out into space. Um, there are times, Ricky and I were fortunate to do a spacewalk together early on once we arrived here, and uh, I can tell you that view from the spacesuit, even from the windows here, looking out into the blackness of space, um, gives you a real appreciation for the fact that uh, that we are essentially alone in our in our nearest neighborhood. Uh, there doesn't look to be anything out there. It's just black and dark. We see we see beautiful stars, obviously, off in the distance, but there's nothing nearby, and uh, that's that can, that's very humbling. Has always been humbling to me um, to realize that um, this is it, and this is the place that we need to take care of, as Ricky mentioned, uh, in order to survive. Talking to astronauts in space was awesome. It's the first time I've done it. I've seen others, uh, my friends, do it, and honestly. I just wanted to be as confident as possible just going in and I felt really good about it. Reporting for Coral Gables Television, I'm Antonella Nakfur. Be sure to follow us on Facebook.com forward slash City of Coral Gables and on Twitter at City Coral Gables. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and e-news at enews at coralgables.com and if you haven't already, download the Intelligent app.